Welcome to Stock Babies, the gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. Far beyond so far that now we're actually trying to get machines. Not for around here, they're all kind of stupid. Southern machines. Southern machines! Well, you know, Southerners are the ones who are the No, not, not, Southern, not su Southerners. I mean, there's a lot of... I mean, you know, rockets are built there for crazy. Well, yeah. No, I mean, I'm talking about Southern machines. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, if you make southern machines, you know, they're probably gonna end up being rocket science machines. No, no, they make southern machines in Antarctica. And then, they, and then they're gonna just, you know, start a freaking Judgment Day. They don't start Judgment Day because they judge us. Oh. They come out of nowhere with their southernness. Oh. And they're like, hey. Ah, I well, see. that's all they say. Like, I mean, we didn't program them enough. Well, uh, hence, that's that's why the podcast is trying to go far uh, beyond to you know work with their AI, right? Because it sucks. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Figure. I'm the gutter cat, and I'm the lo-fi beatnik. And we're gonna start off today's show with a couple of PSAs for you. Just a few, not too many, just a few. Not a few, you know. Not too many. And some public service announcements. Not too many. All right, so we're gonna start off with our favorite uh, freaking indie game. Indie game? Is it an indie game? Does it count? Well, it's to. Uh, you'll be surprised what an indie game is, but anyway. Okay, we're talking about pugs. PUBG. Okay. Pugs. Okay, the dudes, the creator, um, player known, I believe, or maybe the president, it's, you know, one of those guys. He's. Uh, what's God? He wants to make a whole media empire surrounding PUBG. What does that even mean? Well, like, he wants to make movies based on it. You know, lunchboxes, children's cartoons. Children's cartoons. Around, around PUBG, yes. I know, I can see that in Fox. Yeah. Fox New, yeah, like G.I. Joe. G.I. Yeah. Joe. Fox. We're talking super action. You will pump Jump on your helicopter. Chopper. They'll just have a big B2 bomber, like, oh, these guys don't hurt themselves yet. They fall from the sky and then they land and they shoot each other. And and then it turns to one person. And that's the theme song. Uh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> it'd be something like that. The trading yeah. card game, the lollipops. Uh, so, you know, let, let's see what, what they plan. I don't know what they're going to do with that, but, you know, they're going to do something. Something. That's, that's weird. The card game. The card game. Card game. Yeah, the card like, game. My AK-47, when I flip the activation switch, it kills you. You're right. That's it. You know, that's well, I, I got chicken dinner. That means I automatically win. S suck it. <laughs> All, right. All right. And then, okay, so There's next that. next we got um the Devil May Cry creator. Mm -hmm. Um, I forget his name, too. Devil May Cry creator. That's his we name. We need to, yeah, you know, not Bayonetta creator. Uh, he said that his new game is almost out. What that means? I have no idea. Stylistic platforming and slashing and awesomeness. Yeah, I mean, it could be a, it could, it could be a new Devil May Cry. It could be a new DMC. DMC, baby. Or it could be, um, what you call, um, that spot game. Yeah, you know, Cool Spot. Cool Spot. Cool spot the, that cool sweet-ass Cool two. Spot sick of Genesis game. Cool Spot 2, the legend of Cool Spot. The Cools. Uh, what else, what other games was he actually working on? Uh, I don't know. Actually, he, he was working on something else recently, too, which was... Uh, wait, 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 Devil May Cry guy? Or, or yeah, yeah. Cool it, it's, uh, no, not Cool Spot guy. It's cool. Everybody, everybody knows Cool Spot guy. Um, no, what's it called? The games he was, he was, oh, Dragon's Dogma. It could be Dragon Dogma, too. Oh. That's right. You know, I never played it, but Daniel was, like, totally on its, its shaft the whole time. I mean, he didn't go, ooh, or anything, but, you know, he loved it, you know? Oh, yeah, I mean... I, I wanted to buy it just because he, he liked them. You Less, know, there's... There's, there's some, uh, there's some, you know, some big, big following for Devil, uh, Dragon, the Devil's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma. Devil's Dogma. <laughs> so, Devil's I mean, like, let's see if that ends up being a thing. True. Oh, not only that... The game that's almost been ported more times than Resident Evil is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Oh, what do you mean? Do you mean Super Mario? Wait, no, wait. Super Mario never been ported. It's a Nintendo game. Yeah, it's a Nintendo. That's game. silly. It's, it's, it's silly. No, it's Payday Two. Payday. Jeez, dude, how old is Payday Two now? Um, now. I think it was released in 2014, 13. I, I don't know. Some uh, guys like. Oh, so, man, you don't know. so somebody, <laughs> so somebody's like, hey, it was, we finally got Payday Two. How's that gonna work with the, without the, you know, with the audio issues with All right. Nintendo? I think what they're gonna do is they might wait for Nintendo to announce something. I doubt it, but they'll try to announce something. It's they can, it can still go online, but I don't see the hundreds of free maps that it got. Instead, it'll probably have the stock stuff, but with all the masks uh, that's ever got released. Uh, Man. All the guns. I mean, but that's it. I mean, like you gotta think what happened with the no, with the WWE no. game that recently released on Switch. What happened with that one? That came out to be a oh, total turd. Yeah. Like freaking ridiculous amount of turd. Like oh. 30 frames per second drops and damn. You know, <laughs> and just, you know, just ugh, it's terrible. 
Actually, WWE got mad at them for that. Actually, they were like, yeah, you, you done messed us up. With all their glistering muscles, they got upset. They didn't right. say anything, just flexed. And the tento felt it. Right. He felt it. So we still, got, uh, we still got some... We, we got more, more on the Switch a little bit later on mm-hmm. today. Oh, right, and we're going to announce like a new segment, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen on the beginning of every month, which would be... Well, wait, what... Um, Game of the Gold and PS Plus. We, you know, we need to come up with a name or something for that. Yeah, um, let me think of a jingle. <laughs> the, the, the game's for free! Free game for you in your month at the beginning. Free game! Free Because online is too expensive and that's some bullshit. They charge they're too never, much. They're never gonna give and you like, up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't even start with that shit. Uh, sorry, that's kind of, that kind of sucked. It's kind of sounded like the tone you were going with. All right, so okay, <laughs> we're, let's start off with the the list of PlayStation Plus. All right, oh, you know, as always, uh, as you guys know, PlayStation Plus <laughs> for having their service, which is like sixty bucks a month or so, um, you get free games every month. So you know, I have a, I have a, I have a <laughs> okay. So anyway, oh, yeah, it's right so there. we're gonna we're gonna start off with the um, PlayStation Plus list of games you get. All right, we're gonna start off with the big ones. First of all, we get Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. That's the actual sequel to Human Evolution, which was just so. Mm, it's just a beautiful. Mm, game. That's a great game. That was, that's a that's a one hell of a way to start the new year. That was a great of a reboot, frankly. And then he just released this fresh one, like, hey, by the way, uh, we're Sony. Here is part two. Boo doo boo. Boosh. Damn. All right. Um. Then you know, just to, to offset the awesome a little bit, you get a Telltale's Batman game, which is a uh, if you know Telltale is the company that makes story based you know point and click games. Of course, in recent years, they've made very good, very, very good games. And the Batman one is no exception. So, you know, you get that whole season. That good. Um, PS3 games, because, you know, they still love you guys, I guess. Um, <laughs> that one guy who still has his PS3 hooked up. He will not convert. He will not convert to PS4. You get Sacred 3. What is Sacred 3 again? I think it's a adventure game or something. Uh, not a adventure okay. game, like a... a like a top-down... Uh, sh- uh, no. What's it called? A dungeon crawler. You really should look these up. No. <laughs> I don't want to. All right, okay. We also got Book of Unwritten Tales, I think. So that's a point-and-click game. That, that's definitely point-and-click. That's like yeah. old-school, like, Broken Sword. Yeah. Is it a Broken Sword game? Uh, I don't know. One of those type of... It's the type of games where you get a stick, you want to open a door with it, but you got to smash a lemon. Because a lemon, for some stupid reason, has a little uh, piece of... I cannot open this door without my stick. Yeah, they rub the stick with the lemon, and something shoots out, boo doop boop Then you get uh-huh. to open the light, and for some reason, then you open the door. Okay. Now stupid then, crap. Then we go to some PS Vita games for free. Yes, they still really love that for some reason. <laughs> right. Well, you know, they wouldn't show it, obviously, because, um, you know, they sort of discontinued, but they didn't discontinue it. They're like, hey, it's... it's hey, hey, indie guys. Hey, indie guys, have at it. And you know what they did? Indie games were like, okay, yeah, for sure. Let's have Psycho Pass. Um, that's a uh, graphic novel. Uh, you know, there's no real action to it. It's like you're reading. It's like watching an anime that's in still. You know, like Japan animation. Just like, you know, but not moving. So let me get this straight. You're not watching the show pretending to eat Cheetos. You're actually playing the game. And each, you know how much dust? You have no idea how much dust will be in a Vita. This is why we can't even go to Mars with all that dust. And you want to yeah, fucking sacrifice your view? No, shame on you. Well, <laughs> well, 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 you know how, how you stop the Cheetoing? What? You get to play on Cali Valley. Hmm? Yes, you get that for free as well. I have not, no clue what Uncanny Valley it's is. It's a spooky game. And apparently, it's is it a, a spooky game? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like you go through shit, spookiness is everywhere, and oh, I've been wanting to play oh, that for the longest time. That sounds awesome. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. For yeah. both the Vita and the PS4. Ooh. The PS3. Not the PS3. Not for the one guy. Not for the one guy. What's his name? Uh, and just because Sony really likes you, they're giving you guys a free VR game too. Mm-hmm. In Star Blood Arena. That sounds awesome. I don't know what that is. Can you play it without the VR though? Probably not. God. Dark. Like Star Blood. Awesome. Star Blood. You know. <laughs> you know. Alright, now enough of, um, you know, all the PS love. Let's go with games of gold. Xbox's free games. Alright. First off, we got Van Helsing. Three. Yeah, the super duper adventures of Van Helsing. And the like super that. happy, cheerful adventures of vampire murder. Yeah, Van Helsing Three Edition. Well, that's uh, let me tell you this: style of those games look stylish as fuck. Mm-hmm. I like the I, I like the look of them. I love freaking zombies, monsters, di- demons, werewolves, and all that stuff. Don't forget bankers. Uh-huh. Uh, bankers. Uh, uh-huh. Well, duh. I mean, like if Earthworm uh-huh. Earth Jim tells you, you see them all over the place in mm-hmm. hell. All right, you also get uh, sticking with that thing because apparently, you know, appa- apparently Xbox stinks where in October you get zombie. <laughs> zombie. Zombie. All right, just to zombie go- you. 
No, it's zombie. It's Just zombie. to give it back, it used to be an original Wii U game. Remember that? When people <laughs> used to think, hey, I don't want this. And that was one of the games they launched with. Well, this time they took off the U and just called it zombie. Yeah. The Mii, I don't know. Not to be confused with zombie, the 1980s freaking awesome zombie flick. Oh, dude. Oh, the eye scene. The eye scene. Oh, God. Just, oh, it, it, it goes, and it shows it. That was a dope ass. It fucking. shows it. Oh my god. Uh, okay, and okay, and then you also get, you know, if you want to go back in time, you know, to play some shitty games or whatever that <laughs> ride goes. Uh, it's uh, called, um, you, you get Tomb Raider Underworld for Nintendo. Tomb Raider Underworld. For Nintendo 360. For, for, for the Nintendo Xbox 360. 17. For Xbox Commodore 64 CD based game with a 32X expansion. Yes, but okay, <laughs> okay, I fucked up. Uh, it's Tomb Raider Underworld for Xbox 360. Okay, it's for the Raider. Xbox One. <laughs> Because it's it's a re, it's 360. It's going back to one. I'm not gonna. Well, not, yeah, yeah. Well, it's back. Yeah, you can't buy, play it on your old Xbox One. Oh, you can. you have to play it. On, no, you have oh, to you play could. it on your Xbox One, and you can't play it on your old 360. Means you could download it on 360. Can you? Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. But it's for the other guy. Yeah, See, well, the guy who has a PS3 and the guy who has a 360. They wake up. They they own pizza shops. They go outside shops. each day, flip each other off, go back and make pizza. Ah. But while well, no one's watching, we play their, their last generation consoles. Ah. Anyway, it's Tomb Raider Underworld. Before they got extremely good and critically acclaimed like they recently did, it was a pretty good game, to be honest, but there's a, a hiccup here and there. you know. But, you know, that was old school Tomb Raider games. Go figure. Last but definitely not least, but, you know, for some who are not totally violent or whatever, which I am violent, <laughs> we have Army of Two. How the hell do you think that's not violent? That... Th th what... What? Army what? 2. Army. Then army 2. Okay, it's army in Latin means army, and 2 in Latin means 2. Ah, I see. It's a fun game. It's a great <laughs> game. I actually highly recommend it. You murder people. You know, you get you get to you you know, you get to be buddy number 1 and buddy number 2, you get to fist bump and fist then you bump. go, "Hey, look, I'm over here." The bad guys look at you or your buddy goes and shoots him in the back of the head. Yep, full of action. Action. Murder. Murder and murder and more murder. Just gotta stop the murder, bro. Oh, bro, Just bro. Stop the oh, they're, murder, they're bro. very bro too. They're like very, very bro. Also, it's like bros the game. Yeah, it's Broheim the game. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I think who won the console wars now? <laughs> the fact that you say console wars really. Just, I know, right? just, a, just takes not, away my, my... There's no console war, by the way, because um, this isn't the Sega versus Super Nintendo yeah. base. This you the have console war is more like who's a dumber person to buy something. They're, co they're corporations, man. They're just, they're just there. Okay, so let's start off today's Meat of the Bone. Meat of the Bone. bone. bone of the meat. We got a special presentation that we're going to be doing all January long. We're going to be focusing on a specific console and what their future holds for 2018. Um, today's special console, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. Switching away from its old Wii U, it's now the Switch. You're right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in 2018, we already got a couple announcements of what's going to be going on for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, we, we got a big, a big announcement, if you call it big. I don't know. For you guys who never had a Wii U, um, you guys never got to play Bayonetta 2. Which, um, you know, I've heard good things, you know, I mean, like, to me, it's a female devil may cry, more or less. It is, that, that's all it is, that female is devil may cry, cry, you know? You know, and so, you know, for those people who are into, really into the Switch, we're going to be talking about that all this whole episode. Oh, yeah. Um, what's God? You get Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 1 re-released. It's the releasing, uh, both? Yeah, they're releasing both, that's one set, kind of. Well, that's pretty good. You know, oh. fit it on one little chip. Oh, all in one. You got a, you got a two games in one. That's yeah. great. And, you know, with that announcement, they also came with uh, with a Bayonetta 3 coming soon, oh. which probably either next year or the year after. That's why we're not really including it on here. Shiny, shiny. All right. Nice. Um, what else was announced here? We got Kirby Star Allies. Right, Kirby Star Allies. You know, the next game in the Kirby franchise. The, you know, Kirby is, is their, their safe card. Kirby, it's Nintendo's safe card. Kirby is a pink ball of fun. You know, oh, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of people think love it. Great art style. Some say it's really on the easy side, but oh, they usually some people are, are easy in their head. I mean, yeah, <laughs> if it's fun. It's fun. You know, that's yeah, what it is. It's fun. All right, all right. So what else we got? We got Yoshi, the new Yoshi game. You know, uh, for some reason these games just cannot go to go to the awesomeness that was Yoshi's Island. No matter how hard we try. I mean, what was the last one? 
uh, what was it? DS? Yoshi's? No. Wait, no, yeah. I mean, like, what was it called, like, Yoshi's Epic Ass? Oh, yeah, Epic Yarn, yeah, right? It, no. Epic Yarn. Was it Epic Yarn, the Kirby one? Well, I don't know. What Wooly, this? World. Wooly, Wooly World. Wooly World was it. real? <laughs> it's called Wooly World. Wooly World. That's yeah. flirting with a certain name, you know, with a moose. They're on vacation. <laughs> Trying to go on vacation, but then the moose is not open. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> It's also the nickname for a certain convenience road. store. No for convenience what? store. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, the new Yoshi game, which uh, tells an art style that they look flirt fluffy again. He looks like he looks like a stuff. I don't know. He looks what, like I don't a know why. Toy, I mean, yeah, just I like. I mean, okay. The first game was like a crayon, yeah. crayon colors. The second game was like marker colors, right? Something <laughs> like that. Third game was wool. I think they're um. They're, they're ten- like it's like yeah, hey, we love Yoshi. We're gonna make him a stuffy, cuddly animal. I think Yoshi is one of those experimental texture type of games. You know, they always do a different texture, a different way of making it. You know, right? It's still a platformer. He still goes pop or whatever, but he still has certain fucking. He looks different now. Pretty soon we will be called Yoshi Rocks. Right, Yoshi. Right. I mean, like, okay, I'm not because he rocks. No, he just made of stones. Um, I think both those games are for 3DS. Am I? Am I? No, no, they're for Switch, right? The Switch. They're both. They're both Switch games. All right. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with those games. They're, they're obviously. Um, I, I, I personally believe that Nintendo's going safe with that. I mean, like, you, you know, like, there's no... So far, there hasn't been big announcements for, like, their big, big main guys. Super game. I mean, we just got released Zelda and Mario. I mean, what else? Super yeah, more, you know? you know, we're pretty good for a long time. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I mean, it's still, but, you know, you still got to trickle down some stuff, you know? I mean, I don't see... Uh, I, I see a couple of games coming down the road, like Metro Prime 4, probably a new Mario Kart, but don't uh, jump yeah. me on that one. But the one thing Mario that's going to sell Kart. those... <laughs> Throw some fucking shells at each other. The one thing I know 100% that will sell Switch is, like, you know... Hotcakes would be, you know, Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, four okay, years. Okay. Let, let me tell you. I know. Years, yeah. I know. Four years have passed or so with the last one, bro. The guy almost dies every time he makes one. Well, that Adam, that's been news. That's the thing. It's like, oh, God, did Mario can't punch right again. Well, did, man up. Uh, man up. Uh, uh, yeah, or better uh, yet, I can't smash friend. Have the Smash, fr- have the smash fans do it. Right? Oh, really? Fucking those yeah. guys. I know, right? Hey, you better make a Smash game. You'll be like, you know what? How about you make it? He flips off everyone. The Smash fans, right? uh, they, they, they make the game, and it sucks. It's, I guarantee you know, it, will, it you know, would suck. You want to know what's weird, though? What? For a guy who talks about he's almost dying every time makes it if you ever look at his pictures from like 1990 up to now it looks like he gets younger <laughs> maybe he's benjamin button for all we know right that he's just can, like that maybe that's why that, maybe he's that's benjamin why like button every new smash brothers i make makes me younger right one more he absorbs and i'll be 15 but and no and yeah maybe that's what's going on every time you keep it like maybe his life accelerates while he's making the games yeah i mean so he just kind of like starts reverting back to child he doesn't want to do it no more because he doesn't really want to revolve yeah he doesn't want to go back to be a child you know back to back to you know macaulay culkin status oh christ no you don't want that it's like oh i'm a japanese macaulay culkin japanese macaulay culkin ah yeah well, you don't want that, and you know, I think the fans are just making them like, do it, be younger. And I'm like, well, damn, man, how about you fans learn C++ or something? Right? Shit. But goddamn, if they're <laughs> complaining that, hey, it doesn't play like Melee. It doesn't mean it play doesn't, like, like, it everyone doesn't. says, yeah, sure, play that broken game that everyone loves. It's awesome because it's broken. <laughs> or whatever. You gotta use a broken control to play a broken game because that's the only way to play. I mean, just to add insult to injury, Every time you do this, you know, I know, right? They're like, the control doesn't work well. You gotta fuck it. <laughs> you right? gotta fuck it up. You yeah, know? fuck it up. Like, I lost this competition because I didn't have a fucked up control. I, you know, you need to break into control, bro. I'm like, first of all, you, you Cheeto dust. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dusty. <laughs> you little, you little sour Cheeto that you put in a vial, like, Dust-y like, Cheetos. you and a beast. <laughs> that's what it does like, though. These guys are like a Cheeto that's in a glass vial and it disintegrates. And once it goes all the way down, their life is redundant. Yeah, you and the beast. Except it's just called Beast in the Beauty Beast in the Beta. In the <laughs> beast in the Beta. Beast in the Beast in the Beta. <laughs> oh, anyway, no, there is no, there, there, there is no new Smash Brothers coming out next no, year. Not. Though. There is not. There is not. That, that's what they need to do. But okay. Um, what, what else is coming out this year? Um, uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, Dragon Quest Minecraft. Yes. It's actually nope. it's already out for the other systems, but you mm-hmm. know, Nintendo Switch gets its things. You know. Yeah. I mean. I never played it. Have you? No, I've never played it. Well, here's a fun thing. I, I, I never. Even, and this might shock a few of you, y'all. It'll shock a few, y'all. But I never played, um, you know, Minecraft. Me neither. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, uh, you know, maybe I, maybe it's fear of getting sucked into a vortex of a world that you never wanted to go. Just like Game of Thrones. 
God damn it. A lavender is always pays his debts, and you should watch the goddamn show. I'm not gonna watch the show. And I'm telling you, some shame on you. Well, I'll never play Overwatch. Did you hear that? Yeah. God, I will never play Overwatch. I will never, ever play Overwatch. Well, you know. Okay. I mean, maybe, how about we do this? <laughs> how about you play Overwatch? Bastard. You fucking green eggs and ham son of a bitch. First of all, you be the one it. giving the green eggs and ham. I'm well, Sam I am. Sam I am. Why don't you try it? Oh, you're Sam I am. I'm Sam I am. Yeah. Well, I'm the guy with the fucked up fingers yeah. trying to avoid you. Remember what he liked? Remember? He liked it afterwards when he ate it. He's yeah. like, Sam, Sam, I'm going to blowjob you. I love green and eggs and ham. Yeah, fantastic. Green eggs and ham. That He just colored the eggs and shit. You guys are horrible online. Not uh, because you're bad. It's just you're horrible to play with well, online. Well, you got to be the good guy. I'm not talking you about the good guy. He's like, hey, I'm not you talking know, about the guy in you general. Got, you got the guys complaining like, oh, you guys are too. Hey, it's, hey, it's hey. not. No, teamwork, it's not guys. that. It's hey, not guys. the teamwork. Hey guys, teamwork. It's not the fucking teamwork. You guys are horrible <laughs> because you'll call me in ridiculous fucking hours of random shit. It'll be four o'clock in the goddamn morning. Oh, you're. Hey bro. Hey bro. Let's play some uh, payday two. Like no. Like, come on, man. I'm like, dude, it's fucking. It's late at night. Oh yeah. Well, I gotta wait. You know, I, I go to. I, w I go to um, I leave work at 11. Well, that's bad fucking tastic, bro. Th you're not your schedule is not what normal humans have, right? You know, it's I kind of need my sleep. I'm getting old there. I'm getting long tooth, tooth and long. I can't fucking uh, fall asleep at uh, four, I or five o'clock. I, I haven't done that myself in a yeah. long time. But speaking of, of walkie talkies and payday two, that might be the only way you can play it on the fucking Nintendo Switch because at the current moment there's still no, nothing new about Nintendo Switch's audio issues there. You're telling me that. You might have to use a my uh you might have to use a walkie-talkie because payday two is coming out this year as well. Oh, and I guarantee you there'll be those guys saying, "What's wrong with walkie-talkies?" <laughs> they they would. They would. They, they would. Have, they'll be like you. And, and you'll see the news. In local news, uh, walkie-talkie sales have skyrocketed ever since payday two came out because Nintendo's stubborn as shit. Yes, right. We say it like that in the news. Yes. Yes. And now for sports. We're talking to you, Nintendo. And local, and local news. All right, uh, yeah, international news it would be, not uh, local, Christ. Right, internet, right? Jeez, right. In local news, a, a store was robbed. Right. By me. By, by me. <laughs> See you later, suckers. I took the loot. It was me. <laughs> I am the guy. It was me. You think an anchor would just go to his local fucking shop, go and says, I want this, this, and this. How would you pay? And then he just shoots the clerk. Huh? With kindness. Huh? With kindness, okay. But then just guns out, though. And then he, he has yeah, some great, yeah, great yeah. fucking shoes. He just, he's and, like, uh, and he out. also writes him a reality check. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it just says on the pay to, pay to the thing of reality. <laughs> reality check! <laughs> oh. Alright, but anyway, back anyway, to Nintendo. Anyway, back to Nintendo's uh -huh. games coming out in the future so far. Yeah, walk uh, You know, th I think there was uh, something about a new Fire Emblem possibly coming out. Mm -hmm. You know, that Fire Emblem, you know. It's not Advance Wars. Don't you dare. It's not Advance Wars. Dude, don't you. Oh, it's, it's not Advance Wars. I know it's an Advance Wars, but some of us want to fucking Advance Wars. That's what know? I'm saying. Nintendo. Chon the Nintendo, me, Chones, and Rulies. <laughs> <laughs> we want to play uh, Advance Wars again. And don't give Days us, of Ruins is a shit, but come on, guys. Don't give us that indie game that looks like Advance Wars. What indie game? That looks There's like that Advance indie Wars. game that just came out that looks like Advance I don't Wars. want that. I want to be Andy and shoot my powers out well, there, you, you know? can't do it. And I want to do it. You know I want to beat because Days of Ruin made sure they died. What do you mean? You know, the game Days of Ruin. Yeah, everyone died, but it's different, everybody, you know, shit. Everybody died. Everybody died. That was died. Earth 515, I know. Uh, fucking, um, that was a different one, though. Right? What? Not everyone dies, people who played not it. Everyone dies. I'm not playing it, dies. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, alert. the game starts off with everyone getting... It's a different universe, by the way, because... Is it? Yeah, it's a different universe, I because... The, what I love about the new one was, we know, Daisy Ruin. Yeah. The, it was, you know, sh it was war. Yeah. For once, they're like, hey, that's a good battle. Yeah, it was a really good and battle. We should fight each other. And, you know, and the, the soldiers are, like, digging it. Like, hey, I just <laughs> burned my friend. My friend got died, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it, yeah. In this one, they're like, wait a minute. We're shooting each other. Right. And there's resources that to be That was DS, bro. Yeah. There hasn't been a new Advance Wars since DS. Hence why I don't want to fucking up a Fire well, Emblem. You know, we get a Fire <laughs> Emblem instead. Well, I like them, but still. And then... You know, here's the big one. Okay, the game coming out that's, you know, the, here's their big shot right there. Pokemon. Pokemon. I'm so great about that. There's a new Pokemon coming out for Switch. You mean like, like the handheld ones? Well, yes, exactly. Uh, you mean like, like, like Pokemon Shoot and you can go around and you can yep. start battling? Yep. Dude, it's be finally. called Pokemon... What, what spectrum haven't they used yet? Po Pokemon Fourth Dimension. 
No, it has to be like two things that could be opposite. Rainbow, fourth dimension. Pokemon, titanium, yeah, and four, fourth microphone. dimension, three dimension. <laughs> Pokemon, audio, and video. Pokemon, audio, and stereo. <laughs> Pokemon, mono, and Pokemon, stereo. <laughs> I know. Pokemon, drive, Pokemon, wet. That'd be a funny one. I don't know. Well, I, mean, I, could, I, I could see a uh, stupid yeah. name like that. Though. Yeah, well, there's gotta be because last one was Sunday Moon, actually. That okay. Made sense. That How one. about like Pokemon Static, Pokemon. But, I don't know. I don't, well, the whole point is the mainline Pokemon's actually coming Pokemon out. Two. Supposedly. Mainline. <laughs> we don't actually know. That's the speculation around the webs. Is fucking. Is a mainline. Maybe. Well, we know it could be Pokemon Stadium. What if we just call it Pokemon? And then in, in the next oh, one, man, is a Pokemon remake of two. Red and. No, just, just, that's it. There's no Pokemon Red, no Pokemon Blue, just Pokemon. No, that goes against how they make money. Well, I don't get you. They'll, they'll be part one, and then the sequel will be part two. No, see, okay. The Pokemon games are split up into two yeah. because they put certain Pokemon on one of the other games. Yeah, yeah, no, but... You, you know, you just to monetize. Will they do it again? Yes, they've been doing it for the last generation. You know what they should do? In Japan, just have, like, Pokemon whatever, and Pokemon whatever, but over here, just to fuck with the crowds... Pokemon uh, left, Pokemon right. Just call it that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and oh, everyone's like, great. And I'll be like, well, what the fuck do you mean Pokemon left and right? You know, I can see Fox oh like, God, we're in be... Pokemon red. Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Pokemon left and Pokemon right. How many people, oh, oh do you know how many, God. like, Pokemon left would probably wouldn't even sell that well. Because <laughs> people wouldn't want to be lefties. No, dude. The, the watch, the, the West oh, Coast oh. and the East Coast. Wow. Easy. Wow. Yeah, you, yeah, you thought I, about it? Yeah, no, I thought about it. Like, yeah. I, I thought about it in multiple levels, actually. Silly. I mean, you thought you, you could be like Pokemon Trump and Pokemon <laughs> Obama. Obama? Ah. Uh, well, was... we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We are not going to touch that touchy little subject. There's one guy that, come on, do it. Do it. No. Do it. No. Do it. No. Do it. No. Hey, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do That's it. That's the same guy. Because, you know what? <laughs> Because we, because we don't, we don't talk about that. That's yeah, the, the same. Oh, that's just two guys, dude. It's two guys. It's the same guys with those fucking pizza shops. The guy with 360 PS3. He's gonna get the one out upgrade. They're too broke, so they need some yeah. better entertainment. Right? Yeah. And that's why they're listening to us right now. Yeah. So anyway, Salamander One. Salamander One. Yes. Anyway, over again. So those are the games that were announced this coming year. Oh shit. There's so many main things that we we got we now we gotta talk about with um what the, what the, what does Nintendo plan on doing? What do they need to do to succeed this year? All right, first of all, what they should do, and this, this is why this makes total sense, you know? Okay. They should, get, bear with me, <coughs> release okay. games. Games. Uh, and yeah. have, make sure they can play online. So you're saying all the games they announced is not enough games? Well, um, you gotta think about this, you know? A lot of people think, oh, five fucking games throughout the year, that's amazing. Like, really, guys? You only play five fucking year, uh, games throughout the year? Are you bullshitting me? No. No fucking way. Yeah. The first year I got my Xbox One, I got like at least 12. And I spawned four fucking months. True? Yeah. People are like, that's a lot. Bullshit, it's a lot. You can always get cheaper, whatever. You can always always discounts. That's true. Five release games is not enough. I guess that's what third party is for. But, you yeah. know, that's, that's, you know, that's what E3 will judge. Yeah, exactly. But, um... Yeah. You know, I, I, I want to lean a little bit, kind of like in your way, but mm -hmm. in a different thing. They need to release the virtual console. Ooh, there you go. More there games. Go. More games. Like, that's what I'm games, saying. I'm yeah. leaning towards your way, but in a different sense. It's oh, kind of like, yeah. you know, that's the same old games we keep buying because, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're gonna do it. I didn't buy anything on the Wii U. Fuck that. See, what, right. what they should do is finally have a universal um, virtual console account. Or if you bought some games on the Wii or something... You could actually transfer it to the Switch. I know it won't happen, but no, that was for the Wii U. That makes too much sense. It makes way too goddamn much sense. Yeah, way too much sense. And of course, they would complain, be like, oh, uh, how, how can we dig up your old accounts? Oh, you're telling me that I could still buy games on the Wii, right. but you can't get my account. Right? Yeah. But, but you know, like, in all honestly, I think it's going to be it's gonna be released that way. It's going to be like, yeah, hey, it's you know, but, but, but what they need to do is, in mm. that virtual console, they need to release GameCube games. Cube games, dude. Cube games, oh my right. god. And not just the standard ones, third party ones. I would die. Game. I would fucking die if I could play fucking uh um, Time Splitters. Time Splitters 2 or 3, especially 3, on the Switch. That's what I would actually be like this is the greatest about it. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Time Splitters 3. Now that Damn. is a sweet ass game. Dude. Damn, we need that company to come back and do oh, this, dude. Yeah. They need to make those games again. Here here's something that might hurt you, and this this is why it will definitely hurt you. Uh -huh. 
they were supposed to make Battlefront 3. Oh. Yeah. And their plan was they were gonna have the same model as fucking Time Splinters 3. Uh. As in a shitload of stuff to do, a shitload uh. of stuff to unlock. Uh. I'm not sure if they're gonna have that sweet ass uh. custom um, map maker, but. Dude! Uh. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And so we got EA. And we got EA. We got EA. Not not knocking EA. Why, 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 because it's so fucking easy. But <laughs> when EA always make them. Yeah, oh, but guess yeah, but you know. Oh, well, we got current EA. EA published uh, the the Splinters too. I'm not sure if they pu- uh, published part two, but they did publish part three. Right. Free Radical, of course, made. Yeah. Three, but it was published by EA. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. anyway, so um, yeah, let's go. So uh, how did we get to Time Splitters? VR. I mean, a VC. Uh, the VC. Oh yeah, Virtual Console. Right, 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 right. Yeah. What's called? Um, yeah, you know, Virtual Console was old games and all that. Um, you know, we're probably gonna get some Game Boy games. You know, it's handheld. Yeah. That, definitely, we're gonna get Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance. It would be funny as hell, though. <laughs> really funny, actually. And they put some fucking Virtual Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just said use of like some shitty fucking old school floppy 3D, uh, you know, glasses. Okay. And you just play the Virtual Boy, and then after 15 minutes, you sue him. Right? Because your eyes burn out. My eyes are killing me. But anyway, besides that, you know, for Nintendo to stay on top of this year, you know, if they want to be on top, they have to stay on top. They they also need to do um. Besides that, they need to fix their online infrastructure. They really got to fix that. Jeez, I mean, it's laughable. It's laughable. It's like they need to make a uh, a live, like a, a community, mm-hmm. not just hey, your friend has a thing, get his number, like a cell phone, yeah, and then link to it because that's how you do it. Because safety is is our biggest concern in Nintendo. No, don't give me that a bullshit. Community. Don't give me that bullshit. If you want your people to gather together, if you want people to really legit, you need to make a community. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's what makes PlayStation and, and Xbox so great. Yeah, get off your multi-billion dollar ass with all the money and all of that revenue that you make more than those guys, you know, and actually make an online infrastructure. They, they, I mean, like, it's, it's an whole, get off again, your ass. no I mean, I hope they get, you know, they take those lessons and they start doing something like that. Dude, the Q, not the, I was about to say the GameCube had online. No, you know what I'm going to say? The Sega fucking Genesis was able to do online, Nintendo. Huh. The Sega fucking Genesis. I mean, like I said, like, you know, even that, the, like, you know. The, the current the current freaking online thing is like what the cube had you know it's like hey random guy that I know would you gonna put in some codes or we're gonna play some fantasy star Fantastic. oh fantasy star Ooh. Ooh. baby oh and crystal defenders I mean crystal oh, chronicles, chronicles. that game looks so How the hell goddamn would you, good I mean uh, they would have to remake that somehow you could play online imagine if you could play online like that you know? ooh that'd be cool I mean you could play online with the others through on the other systems but you know they just you know what would be hilarious though what? if when you they emulated the Game Boy games they'd be, they're like just a little tiny square like you know oh like in native God. format don't even say that would be that. hilarious so it's not the whole screen just like, really like a little small. square it's like <laughs> They would do something that stupid, dude. It would happen. I mean, I expect them not to at least I have white screen, to happen. but they're gonna have some tiny, stupid little square. I expect it to happen. And then the fans will be like, "You understand? This is the real raw feel of the game." <laughs> they would. They would. They would. You not know, knocking Nintendo fans. Well, yeah, I'm knocking. I'm fucking. I, I, you know what? But I like me a Nintendo too. I love playing Nintendo games. I don't like the fans. What? Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, we're talking yeah. about like the hardcore, the hardcore. You guys guys. It's 2017 and you're stop, defending stop fucking defending. 2015. Uh, stop defending. 2005 you're, you're defending shit, a corporation. Dude. Yeah. Defending a corporation. And by the way, a corporation that's doing as little as possible to get your money. Because they know they can get you with the, as little as possible. Your cell phone in your pocket right now has more tech than your Nintendo Switch. That For Christ's sakes. Yeah. It has Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth. It has online. It has online. <laughs> I can talk with the text chat. <laughs> Jeez. And it, oh, oh, before someone goes, some smart ass goes, oh, but, 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 these things cost so much money and it's now they shit. Yeah, well, the first iPhone had that shit too, so let's not talk now, shall yeah, we? Right. Yeah. The uh, P- first of all, just to go back to the subject, the PSP had a mic button <laughs> and online. Right? Mic dropped. Oh. And I'm not gonna drop this mic, so simulated mic drop. Dropped. Diddly dropped. Diddly dropped. Anyway, so aside from that, fucking, let's see. They got, they need a new infrastructure. Yeah. They need to release the, you know, they're, 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 they're But I mean, like, overall, Nintendo just needs to listen to, to the people, you know? Not, like, no, they should they not do, listen to the fans. Cause well, the fans not was... to the fans, but they need to keep up with current uh, trends. Current things. Yeah. They can't just, they can't just keep going on that whole Nintendo is this because you guys will buy it. Yeah. 
you know? Um, so, you know, eventually, I mean, now that now they're running concurrent, I mean, like, now you don't have a handheld no more. Well, you do. I mean, they still have the 3DS, but what it's I'm a, saying It's is, a module system. Well, what I'm saying is, like, you know, eventually they're going to have to phase out the 3DS, yeah. and then what? You don't got two concurrent running things. Now you have to kind of focus on what you're going to release. You know, it's not going to be acceptable to release another Link to the Past after you just released Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, see, you can still support the system. What I'm thinking well, though Well, I mean, but like, I mean, like, on the same system. Well, see, would have been cool. would have been, I mean, awesome. If they actually had 3DS support. And I don't mean, like, 3DS support as in, like, like you can download the ROM. I guess that would be cool as well, though. But I'm thinking you pop in the cartridge. Ah, uh, yeah. And a, maybe a peripheral. Wait, for, wait, wait for Switch 2. Yeah. Wait for Switch 2, dude. They could do it. They could do they're, it. They're, and they're probably going to do no, it. No, I mean, Switch they, Switch. they could do it right now if they want to. Just get a new thing. Put some type of chip in there that, that could make it run on the switch. Nah, Bob's your uncle, right? I don't know. Uh, I have no Bob anymore. Gu- gu- guarantee, <laughs> guarantee. There's, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a switch switch two. There'll be a switch two. This shit is not selling this year, like the next week. year. Oh, speaking of which, I mean, this is a little bit extra, right. but this is from Nintendo. Um, I'm gonna give us a quick little prediction. There's gonna be an N64 classic. You really think so? I think so. What would make you say that? I'm just based off just how it seems. So like the, the NES Classic, Super Nintendo Classic, the 64, but what do you think, what games? There's, uh, there, okay, my prediction, there's yeah. only gonna be 12 games on it, less than the other two systems. Whoa. Well, okay. Right, why is that? Because they're bigger games. I know they're bigger games, but like... Well, because it's Nintendo. Yeah. Think about any, any Nintendo 64 game that wasn't made by Rare. Hmm, good point. How many games do you get taken out of that whole system there? Yeah, you just took out um, Conkers. <laughs> you took out some fighting you took games. Out Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> took out Golden Eye. Golden Eye. I didn't see that happening too because, believe it or not, uh, Activision has the rights for that. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was a, a, a Wii version of that game. Yep. They have the rights, even for the 64 version, for Christ's sake. Yeah, um, that's good. But yeah, yeah. freaking. Um, yeah. yeah. So what you're left with? Mario 64, Mario Kart 64. Mario Zelda. Party, whatever. Two. Zelda one two. You know, Zelda, both of the Zelda actually. games. Yeah. Uh, little, 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 Yoshi Story. Oh, Smash Kirby, Brothers. Smash. That's where he started degrading his, his life. Star Fox. That's nine already. I, I can imagine there's like maybe three or four more. There games. will be a lot of people who will be satisfied with that though, sadly. Yeah. I mean, I would love. I think that's that's my have, issue with Nintendo. Yeah. It's all like that. We're we're too satisfied with just a little bit. They know how to satisfy their they know, fans. They know how to. But they're surprised that not everyone's buying into it. You right. Know? If you want to say, well, well, what will they buy me to in the PS4? You're right. Yeah. You practically do got people buying into it, though. If you can release Pugs on there. Right. You're going to freaking sell every freaking Switch. I know. Oh, my God. Imagine going to the I park. Did, I'm still not. Uh, I mean, I, mean like, I actually tickled it a little bit. I mean, I... I the Switch or Pugs? Eat. Pugs. What are you playing like, on? Uh, on the computer. Oh. You know, so, how'd you play it? Uh, somebody else's computer. Oh. No, I mean, like, how did, how did you feel, think about the game? It's shooters. It's so I gotta make sure though, just to make sure. So when you die, you have to wait. Yeah. What I would have done is, when you die, you enter a horde mode. Right. Yeah. Or you quit the game. It's yeah. More or less. Or you, f- or you fight some other guy. You know, you have a, re- you jump into this fucking arena once you die. You fight other fuckers. Whoever wins from that gets to come back to life. Yeah. That'd be cool. Because why the hell do you wait for that long? Right? That's, that's a stupid mechanic. Right? You know, last man standing. Yeah, but did you, But the person who dies, does he really have to fucking, you know, get over? Sometimes you fall down, some guy already found a sniper rifle out of nowhere, picks up, boom, your whole game is fucked. Well, you know, like I said, it's, uh, people love it. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. But I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't like that waiting shit though. You know, you know, I, I'm slightly more simple than that. You know, give me freaking, give me killing floor two, and you know, uh, we'll have fun. Yeah. You know, but PC's another week. Um, but that's about it for Nintendo though. No, oh, yeah. I mean, like, I think we got some good enough juicy information for the fans out there. Mm. I mean, like, you know, Jeez. like I said, our, we're continuing this uh, this show about the consoles next week with um, PlayStation, right? Yeah, PlayStation. We're doing PlayStation next week, so, you know, look forward to that. Um, that's about it. 
Anything else you want to add to this? Well, I'll say despite all the negativity we actually said about the Switch, we I do see a bright future for Nintendo's uh, oh, definitely. Console, you know, a that, huge console. That, I mean, they are doing some amazing things as well, you know. As much as not, we knock it, it is, it's probably the best hybrid console. For the first one done, they, did, they actually made it flawlessly. Besides minor things here and there, it's a great console, you know. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean like, we're, we're, you know, we're going to pick one up. Yeah. It's we gonna are going to get one. Uh, it's going to happen. We have to. We have to. We have a game here. Because there, otherwise, you know. we're going to be some weird guys talking about a system that we don't even own. Not only that. I bought know. the Wii U, damn it. I bought the Wii U. I bought the... Wait, what? I bought the Wii U. Once. What? Wait, what do you mean you bought the Wii U? I mean, I bought the damn Wii U, so I got to buy a Switch. Well, how about you burn that Wii U, sell that Wii U, or do anything with that Wii U? You think that Wii U is worth anything anymore? <sighs> then, then just go to some fucking... Well, I still got Smash on it, though. Wii. <laughs> oh, man. I, well, I'm good. Uh, that's I'm good. good. All right, so, <laughs> again, that was that was the show. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, really you can follow up me at DJ Gutter Cat on Twitter's. And, you know, like and subscribe our videos and, you know, you yeah, hit the notification bell if you guys want to know when these things are released. Yada, yada. And that's it for the show. All right. We're cutting now. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, dude. You know, not to tell anyone, you know. Yo. But Tim. Yeah. He actually made it. He, he's in fucking Jupiter right now. He got the sound. He got the sound. He's going to come back. We're going to fucking jam. We're going to put in a fucking song. And it's gonna be a big fucking surprise, dude. Nobody fucking knows. Like a few, a few episodes from now, we're gonna write the dopest fuck. Ah, oh, shit! It's still on. Up, 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 up. Every fucking time. <laughs>